the enemy gave us a warm welcome. They rammed up more than 45,000 rounds of flak. That didn't stop us. During three days of smoky air siege, we lost 30 more planes, 23 to flak. But now we had over 100 Mustangs as escorts. The enemy jabbed and our 51 swooped into the battle. Hit hard, enemy fighter strength fell apart. Displaying courage far beyond the call of duty, our boys drove the enemy into the ground. Black kept our bomber crews on their toes. We waded through it all the way to the target. The full weight of our attack fell on Poesti. That did it. The steady pounding whittled away 90% of Romanian oil production. The global and greedy designs of an Axis dictator were consumed in a blazing, oily ploeste. This was the crowning climax to our air siege. In only five months, this had become the graveyard for one-third of Hitler's oil. Oil, a pre-war weak point in the Nazi military supply system, became a bottleneck under repeated Allied blows. The bombs had crushed gasoline producing, storage and shipping centers. Vainly, Germany's 350,000 slave workers tried to repair the damage. But now all the refineries in the rich Ploesti cluster were damaged or knocked out. We hurt them, but they hurt us too. The Ploesti campaign had cost us 270 heavy bombers, 49 fighters and their crews. Each plane and each man helped to shorten the war. As we hit the donut line, we were still flying the mission, and we wondered about our missing air crews. How many would come back?